Right, so this is a bit of a strange video because I'm not going to, although I'm in my MGB, um, it isn't really car related or uh, my MGB related or Porsche related or anything like that. It's more about the camera that I'm using and the um, microphone. I mentioned it on my last video a little bit, uh, but it was in a whole load of other information, so I should probably just talk about it separately. Um, I'm not, this isn't some kind of technical in-depth review, it's more of a, for somebody like me, if you're looking to just get some kit, you know, put it together and start recording a video and then think about um, editing it, putting it online or anything like that, um, I found this to be really, really easy to use. It's not particularly cheap and compared to what I was using before, oh my goodness, it's a gazillion times better. Now, the reason I'm doing it in this car is because it's a soft top and it's noisy. It makes a lot of noise and I wanted to test the microphone and, um, and I'm gonna try not to shout and just hopefully it's just gonna come across um, that it's a, it's a really good microphone. So, so firstly, let's talk about what I've got. So pre the previous videos I used to record with a GoPro Hero 7 Silver. Now they're a pretty good camera, but it did not have any way of attaching an external camera. Um, external camera, I keep saying that. An external microphone or any external kit at all. So um, it got to the point where the sound was awful, especially in a car like this or even any kind of car. So I did a little bit of research, not a huge amount. Uh, to be fair and I just googled best vlogging camera and microphone so uh, what I opted for is a GoPro Hero Black GoPro Hero 8 Black um, because it's got great image stabilization the picture's pretty good it's more of an action camera not a vlogging camera but I liked it because it's small um, not bulky and it's easy to stick um, onto the screen and it's not massively expensive so I paid £279 uh, from the GoPro website where it's reduced by about £100 so I think it was £379 before and the reason I did um, I had to get it from the GoPro website and I didn't go to Amazon firstly I thought it'd be good to go straight to GoPro and secondly because I think when the price reduction came it sold out really quickly on Amazon um, so I got that. Now, to connect anything external to it, you can't really do that. So you have to buy from GoPro um, a media mod. Now the media mod fits onto the camera like a, a cover. And what it does is, it's, um, it's got an omnidirectional mic built into it, which I'm not using for this, by the way. And also it has some ports. It has a USB-C, um, microphone jack and a HDMI out so which is pretty good and right, let me just take this junction it's a glorious evening by the way and when it goes a slightly longer way around and see if the car still works properly oh my goodness so um, yeah, so it has those connections, um, and then once you fill, and it costs seventy nine pounds. So you you have, it, that, that's annoying because you buy it, the camera so you can connect external things to it, but then you have to pay seventy nine pounds to then connect the other things to it, which you haven't yet bought. So you're already into it, you know, three hundred and sixty pounds, um, and that's a bit annoying. I mean, it, it then enables you to fit other mods. But again, it's, hey, you have to pay £75 to fit extra things. That's a bit rubbish. So I thought, okay, um, I didn't use that omnidirectional built-in media mod um, microphone because I didn't want to do a half-house job again. So if I'm going to do this properly and do a bit of vlogging or whatever it is, people call it these days, um, I might as well do it properly. So I went out, did a little bit more research, saw a couple of reviews on uh, YouTube for wireless microphones. Now I got wireless because I thought, well, what if I attach the camera to the outside of the car? 
and I still want to be able to uh, be heard. Now, now that I've bought the camera and the stuff that goes with it, I am too scared to put it outside because I don't want to lose my almost 500 pound investment. Um, so then what I did was, um, I saw a couple of videos on the Rode Wireless Go. Now this is, so here's the transmitter um, and there's a similarly sized and shaped, oh dead deer on the road, similarly shy, sized shape um, receiver. Oh, the smell of dead animals. Ah. Um, which is attached to the camera and it's attached via the, um, the microphone jack and you get the cable included with the, the mic set. And the, uh, the receiver also has um, a little display that says whether it's connected and what the battery life is doing on the receiver and the transmitter. And the transmitter also has a microphone built into it so you can just clip it to your lapel or there's a little bit that you can stick on top that deflects the wind noise and things like that and you can put it on a stick as well to use it if you're interviewing somebody. Um, also, hang on, get past these people. Also, you can actually um, have, I could have it attached to me and have somebody next to me talking and both of them will be recorded really well. Both deep uh, and I think it would work in a similar way to this. So the thing that I've attached to it, you could actually take a cheap microphone and then attach to it as well. And because it's got a three and a half mil jack on it. But I w opted for the Rode, uh, now I think it's pronounced Lavalier or La well, I wanted to say, oh Jesus, so many cyclists. I wanted to say like Cavalier, like Lavalier, but I don't know how it's pronounced. It sounds French. Um, and they're made by an Australian company. So this additional bit, which is supposed to be professional grade, uh, is 65 pounds. So 65 pounds for this, 100, uh, sorry, 69 pounds for this, 169 for the Rode Wireless Go. 79 pounds for the media mod and 279 pounds for the gopro hero 8 black that's a quite that's a lot of money um but i'm hoping it's a one-off thing and i'll be able to just use it as often as i want i'm sure it's not going to make me some kind of uh, um influencer which i'm not um but I, I just wanted to put out some decent videos and I'm hoping that it sounds pretty good uh, because this car is super noisy there's wind noise there's all sorts and I'll probably speak in a bit too loud anyway uh, but I just wanted to do a quick test so with the camera I've not changed any of the settings I've just gone with the default settings um, and it's the same with the the microphone setup I've just turned it on read the instructions on what I should look for in terms of where the battery, what the indicators mean, whether it's synced up, uh, which takes about two or three seconds, and you get the light light indicator that says it's synced up, so it means that you don't have to look at the display. Uh, right, we're gonna go on a road where I can drive a bit faster, and we can properly test. Hopefully it's not rubbing against my shirt or anything. Right, now, that's giving it the beans on the car and I hope you can still hear me clearly um, I'm not talking because I really really love driving this car down this road because you can accelerate now that's really loud out here but I'm hoping that you can still hear me clearly but I like this road because you can really accelerate on it up to the speed limit and it takes a while because the car isn't very fast but it feels so good um, and now we're going to go through a winding dip and I'm hoping you can still hear me clearly hopefully you're getting a little bit of the engine noise I'm going far too fast for the car not the speed limit I'm still within the speed limit and man. so just for that I'd recommend buying a car like this it's a 1968 MGB Roadster 1.8 twin carb 
with an electronic fuel uh, with an electronic ignition system by PowerSpark. Um, get a brand new battery, um, 12 volt battery that's made for this car, and get a new coil, and it will be amazing. Anyway, I can't remember what I was talking about. Yes, so I'm hoping to have really good quality videos, and from now on, there'll be more informational, chit chat, random talk, rambling, stream of consciousness that sometimes feels like it's coherent, other times incoherent, uh, rambling from topic to topic. But in terms of setting, getting the setup, it was, I was trying to get the easiest way possible without doing tons of research and doing tons of setup and getting a decent picture and a decent bit of sound. And I think it's achieved that. So, and I could just tweak the camera. If I had somebody sat next to me, I'd be able to talk to them. You'd be able to hear me from the same microphone or I could hand it to them and they could be holding it. Um, and the wide angle on the camera would catch us both. Um, and it's a good steady image. And it was really quick to set it up. Turn it on, do the, do the app on my phone for GoPro, get the preview um, and just turn on the transmitter and the receiver, charge them up. They come with two charging cables and um, and the, 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 the extendable additional mic that I put on. Um, just plug it in. So you just plug everything in and it all syncs together, stick it on the screen and you're away. That's it. Every, so every time you go think, I'm gonna go for a drive or I'm gonna do whatever and record, it literally takes you three minutes to get it all set up. As long as you're all charged up, then you're away and you've got your phone. Um, so I've got to do the preview on my, because you to get the framing right. There's a mod that you can get for a, um, a GoPro Hero Black 8, 8 Black, which, um, which will help you frame it because you'll be able to see yourself. But if you've got the app on your phone, save your 80 pound spend um, and just um, use your phone put it in a phone holder and you can see yourself. Uh, it just depends if you're walking along um, and doing something, um, talking. So if the camera's facing you, you can't really tell if you're in the center and then you have to do some clever editing. So my editing really just consists of um, just watching the video, cutting bits out where I'm umming and ahhing or um, I've gone off topic so badly or um, I need to reframe the picture or add some text into um, create some more context around what I'm talking about. But um, it's, I would highly recommend the Rode Wireless Go. I'd highly recommend the Lavalier or Lavalier. It just makes me smile every time I say it. So I'm saying it like Vauxhall Cavalier. Um, only because the Rode is the, it's a, an Australian company and it makes me think like Holden, Vauxhall. Anyway, ignore that. Um, so I would definitely recommend it if that's what you're going to do. Um, I should have said at the beginning, hit subscribe, uh, because now that I've invested in all of this, it'd be great to have some subscribers, subscribers who can I can interact with. Um, and I'll try and respond to any comments anyone's got. If anyone wants me to do any additional test, if I can try and do that, um, I'll absolutely give it a go and post it. And I think that's it. And now I'm just going to drive and enjoy the balmy summer's evening because I do love this car and I've had it for a really long time. And bizarrely, it's only recently started working this well. And I need to drop back from the car in front because I do want to accelerate and try and demonstrate that the microphone works really well because there is a lot of noise. The car makes a lot of noise, there's a lot of wind noise and it's a really good test. There's a, there's a lot of people who do the test They um, have done reviews online on YouTube and they're really in-depth reviews and they're people who 
who know their um, onions. So they've tested them against lots of different ones, but for me it was, um, I've got a really, really basic use case and I haven't done that where I'm walking along. I'll probably do some videos of my car where I've stood outside it and certainly where I'll do a video where I'm walking away from the camera or I'm stood away from the camera. Um, and the wireless setup works really well, especially this up here. And I didn't really need to get this because it was the, I saw it saved 69 pounds, but I think it does make a difference from the reviews I've seen. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of pleased with that purchase. Um, and I'm gonna do a couple of video blogs for work. Um, so it's really gonna be useful for that. And I think that's it. So the rest is just me having a drive. I might just leave that video in. I'll leave a couple of minutes in.